Good morning everyone. I have um, a new album to show you. This is a um, uh, made with Prima uh, Jody Lee Butterfly Collection. Um, yes, that's what it is. Uh, Jody Lee Butterfly Collection. The front cover here on this flap I made a decorative uh, die cut edge and uh, made sure that this little fairy up here was showing because I thought she was really cute and uh, because it's butterflies and there are butterflies in different places of the paper I did put a couple little butterflies on the front and I have some flowers here for you um, these um, and then I, I put some little rosebuds there because I, I like that. Um, the pink tied in real well with this with this particular color and I was thrilled that I had this color to go with the paper. Um, and this is uh, an epoxy sticker that says everyday moments become cherished memories. So I thought that was kind of fitting for this particular paper collection. This is made on um, 80 pound textured cardstock. I have I uh, put a border, I mean a, an edging on the on the side. Here's the back. I did think about putting a um, uh, something there to so that you could. Um, if you gave it as a gift that you'd be able to put a note or maybe somebody's name or uh, date or something but then I thought no then that's kind of taken away from a photo space if you wanted to use it as such and if you even if you do want to journal there's plenty of room here that you can journal some so see like I said here's more little butterflies I suppose she's a butterfly too uh, little fairies and you know it's just a very delicate very um, light colored paper this is probably the one with the most colors in it and that was my favorite sheet out of the of the whole pad although many of them are very pretty um, so this is um, held with magnets I have three sets of magnets on this page Inside, I have uh, some stickers that say Laugh, Hope, Inspire. You can journal a, a special note here to your person. I put a, a strip of the cardstock or the paper collection here to kind of make it a little more tailored looking. This side has, oh, and I, I put another, I did another die cut here. Uh, so that it um, looks finished off and matches the front. It's a different paper piece of paper from the pad, but uh, um, I wanted it that way. So then, but then see the this side over here, this paper matches this. Uh, in here, I have another die cut border. Um, the same scallop only I don't have the I didn't want the cutouts in it that that this one has I wanted this one to just be uh, a solid I have a, a tag here that has some little butterflies down there on the paper and a pretty die cut border up at the top too this particular edge matches that so I thought that was appropriate um, as you can see they match and then like I said this this is pretty um, with that die cut so this can be can serve as a little journaling tag or you could put a, a small crop photo down there uh, you could put your photo back here if you want to use this for journaling you can put a photo there that's perfectly uh, good for um, uh, a four by six photo and then you might have just a slight edge covering it if you don't crop your photo here's an extra oops I had upside down here's an extra little tag 
this can serve as a bookmark somewhere if you wanted it to and uh, I have that little um, well I think I called her a fairy but she's actually a butterfly because uh, she's got the butterfly wings so I think upon first glance she looks she reminds me of a fairy anyway she's a butterfly so I've got that uh, so if you want to put a photo there there's two places I mean this place and then here and then whatever you want to do there so that's two the back if you want a photo that's three so let's keep that in mind that's three so far uh, I have uh, this page in the center I like the lighting better when I hold it up so um, that was a beautiful page and it also has I don't know some of those really do kinda look like fairies to me or butterflies well there's birds there's flowers there's all kind of pretty things on there uh, so that was a pretty paper so and then this opens up. Let me scroll out a little bit, then I'll come back and I'll probably try to show you these papers up a little closer. Then this opens up again. I die cut a frame here for an oval frame. And then it opens up again. And it's all kind of pretty images there. Then over here, I like, this is pretty, I think, and um, uh, then I made this as a, a different type of choice for a photo. You can crop and put that on there, um, and then there's plenty of journaling area around here, or you can journal over here about the photo that you put there. That would work nicely. So... Let's go back this way then again. And then you see those papers. It just keeps opening and opening. <laughs> and then here's the 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 back of the album. Now, there's no chipboard in this. It's it's completely cardstock it's all the 80 pound cardstock and a lot of it you know in through here these pages are double layered and then by the time you add a, a layer of the paper collection on top of that you've got a good thickness for this paper I made just a, a pocket in case you want to put those sorry that was caught on my cloth um, and I did make, oh dear, I just dropped it. I did make this tag to go in there with those images there. Um, to go in here to journal a little something. Uh, or you can turn it over on this side, which is my favorite side. But I thought... I wanted to show you at least that side of the paper because I don't think I used that as a, a front on any of these photos. So remember we had three counting the okay we had three. We had two, uh, one, two, and then the back and that makes three so far then we have four five six seven eight nine ten fold back up we've got did I count that one eleven twelve 13, 14, 
15 uh, I got I got turned around I have a, a way that I count so let's just start with the inside maybe that's more simple we've got two four six eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and if you wanted to crop a photo there a couple of photos you can have like up to 18 photos this um, it these are six let's see I think they are now I take that back these are five and three quarters by five and three quarters the outside pages the main structure of the album is uh, these are full six by six sheets but I did have to trim a little off so that I could have a nice border around the hair so again that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen and then with an option of maybe a couple more smaller cropped photos maybe even if you had a little uh, school photo there or something anyway um, for a small album and one that's and I like I said I put magnets in here for you so that it closes it neatly closes I put a row of bling uh, to dress it up even a little bit more you have uh, a nice compact little um, little album little brag book that you can put in your purse and just pack and carry with you this would make a cute gift um, for a lot of different occasions a cute little Mother's Day gift maybe from grandchildren or a, a daughter-in-law or you know just anyone um, so um, I had a lot of fun working with this paper I'm sure that you'll all uh, have seen this and enjoy this particular print and Prima just never goes wrong I mean there's just no two ways about it them and graphic 45 they're my favorites so uh, I hope you all uh, have a nice day thanks for coming to see me um, stop in my again Maddie's scrapbooking is my YouTube channel and um, leave me a comment uh, and subscribe if you would I'd appreciate it thanks so much bye bye